By now, most of us are familiar with the typical life cycle of butterflies and moths, right? We go from egg, to caterpillar, to chrysalis, to butterfly. It's that simple. But have you ever stopped to think about what's really going on inside of that chrysalis? You might picture a sort of teenage butterfly, a caterpillar sprouting wings in there. But if you were to cut one open, you would find just goo. Goopy, gooey, liquefied caterpillar. Picture snot. And then imagine a whole butterfly emerging from that snot. The caterpillar's organs, tissues, everything breaks down completely and becomes a soup of cells. Delicious. For a long time, humans equated this process with death. The chrysalis was a coffin from which new life, the butterfly, emerged like a phoenix from the ash. But studies show that butterflies remember things that happened to them when they were caterpillars. Even though their brains are liquefied and dispersed for a few weeks in between, somehow those neurons find their way back together. So that intermediate state, it isn't really like being dead, but it isn't really like being alive either. It's its own state, a unique state necessary for the metamorphosis that butterflies and moths undergo. Can you imagine if humans went through something similar, being liquefied like that? How would it feel, and what would we turn into?